Salesforce CMS is a hybrid content as a service available to all of our customers across sales, service, community, marketing, commerce, and the platform. So the same content can be published to a portal built with Community Cloud, a marketing cloud journey, or a storefront powered by Commerce Cloud. In fact, you can even use CMS with third-party apps not built on Salesforce. We've built this product to be simple for your marketing teams to publish and syndicate content to any channel, to be flexible to your business needs, and powerful since it's connected to your CRM. Today, I will be playing the role of a content creator. As a content creator, I start every day by clicking into the app launcher and selecting the brand new Salesforce CMS app. After clicking in, we are on Salesforce CMS Home. On top, I can see the most recent content records, and on the right, I can see metrics related to this content. Scrolling down, I can see CMS workspaces. Workspaces are how companies organize content. You can organize your content in whatever way works best for your company. For example, some companies do this by region, some by brand. And in Fenty Beauty's case, they are organizing content in workspaces by campaign. Recently, Fenty Beauty launched the new Tinsel product line for the holiday season. And corresponding to that product drop, they are launching a campaign. Fenty Beauty will need content to support this campaign. To create this content, let's tap into the Tinsel campaign workspace, where we can see a variety of content that has already been created, including blogs, videos, and banners. It's easy to add content to this campaign by clicking on the content button, where I can choose from out-of-the-box content or from a variety of content types. In Fenty Beauty's case, we've got makeup tutorials, which is a custom content type that Fenty Beauty created to cater to their beauty fans. Today, I'm going to make some final touches on the intro blog that has already been created for the holiday lookbook. Here is everything you'd expect from a blog post. We have a header, title, body, and some rich text. I can add additional assets, including a video and images that can be used as appropriate on different channels. What's important to know is that every element here, including the header, additional images, and categories are customizable. This looks great and I can publish. Let's go back to workspaces. I have all this wonderful content for this campaign, but how does this show up? When I tap on channels, I can see all the different destinations where I am sending all the Fenty Beauty Tinsel content, including a mobile app, a commerce site, marketing cloud, even a retailer portal. I can even add more. Now, I want all this content, especially my blog, to show up on Instagram, Fenty Beauty Hong Kong, and I also wanted to add it to our brand new lookbook. For those of you in retail, you know that a lookbook is a sort of digital magazine designed to inspire your customers. For those of you in other industries, think of it as a content-rich microsite. I want to make sure my blog is available on my lookbook, so I tap Add and my work is done. I want to emphasize how exciting and important this is. Oftentimes, content marketers will create a piece of content, then recreate it, then recreate it again for all of their different channels that they are working on. But with Salesforce CMS, you can create that piece of content once, then syndicate to all of these different channels, driving a tremendous amount of speed for your content creators. 